This year sees the most historic major in the golfing schedule return to Royal Birkdale. It'll be the tenth time that Birkdale has hosted the Open, and many greats of the game have lifted the claret jug here, including Arnold Palmer. Five-time major champion Peter Thompson has won at Birkdale, and most recently in 2008, Podrick Harrington. But there's another very small group of players who've written their names in Open history, those who've made a hole-in-one at the championship. Here's our top ten. First up, not many competitors have had the start David Graham made at the first in 1974. Good. Oh, magnificent shot. Oh, will it go in? Yes, it has. What a tremendous start for David Graham. Lanny Watkins achieved a similar result at the 1988 Open on Royal Lytham and St Anne's opening par three. How about that? What a way to start your day. Another American, Frank Licklighter, was the first to record an ace during the second round of the 2001 Open at Lytham. He made six aces in his career, but says this was by far his best. Five years later, South Africa's Richard Sturney stunned spectators with his uber-accurate tee shot on the 13th at Royal Liverpool. Oh, it's in the hole, would you believe? Having won the title in 2010, Louis Oosthuizen returned to winning form on the first day at the 145th Open at Royal Troon. The Springbok with a superb strike on the 14th. Sadly for Louis, it wasn't good enough to take the title again, but no doubt he'll be in the hunt this year. From one South African Open champion to another, Ernie Els delivered in style at the notoriously difficult postage stamp eighth at Royal Troon in 2004. The shortest hole in championship golf at just 123 yards, the tricky par three has left many a pro in disarray. But for Els, who made a last-minute switch to his pitching wedge for that shot, it was a stroke of genius. Not enough to win his second Open, but that did come in 2012. Next, a man who's made a hole-in-one at not one, but two Opens, Ireland's Paul McGinley. His first came at the 1992 Championship at Muirfield, and then again in 96 at Royal Lytham and St Anne's. Taking the luck of the Irish with him, McGinley went on to become winning European Ryder Cup captain in 2014 as well. Making it into our top three open holes in one is the Swedish trio of Pierre Fulker, Dennis Edland and Daniel Olsen, who all achieved their aces at the 1997 Open at Royal Troon. Fulker was the first to strike it lucky at the 14th in the opening round, but less than 24 hours later, Edland and Olsen made their holes in one. Edland at the eighth, and Olsen at the fifth hole. Spectators loved it, and even the players were struggling to believe what was happening to Swedish golfers. That wasn't the first hat-trick of aces to be recorded at the Open, to Royal St George's 1981 and the 16th. And it's in, <laughs> captured by the television cameras forever, and what a moment for Gordon Brand. Roger Chapman, young amateur, today a nine iron at the short 16. Brand hold in one with a five iron. But the result exactly the same, a second hole in one. We've had a couple of ones here, young Chapman and Gordon Brand, and that's a good looking shot. And he's done it again. Three holes in one at the 16th. 
We reckon the greatest hole-in-one to be seen at the Open was made by golfing legend Gene Sarazen, who won the championship in 1932. The five-foot, five-and-a-half-inch star played in the 1973 Open at Royal Troon. By then, he was 71 years old, and it was exactly 50 years after his first appearance in the Open. Saracen hit a five-iron to the infamous postage stamp eighth and watched it in delight as it made its way into the hole. And he became the oldest player ever to make a hole-in-one at a major.